ingredients um, while I wait for you guys to get on. I'm gonna wipe off the camera, hang on. Better? Oh, better, there I am. I'm not so flurry. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep on grabbing ingredients, guys. I'm a little bit behind tonight. It's been a crazy day, so um, just chill out if you're watching the replay. Fast forward like a minute or two, and then we'll get started. Thing. I'm just grabbing some carrots, which I need to wash, and then we're going to get started. I guess I could turn you and let you see my dirty kitchen. There you go. And you can watch me wash the dishes. How about that? I'm washing my carrots. Hopefully, that's not the dishes. Hopefully, it's my carrots. I'm hoping I have the phone in a good place for reception. If you have the ability to comment down below and let me know that the uh, video is clear, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna keep on running up ingredients. We're almost ready, guys. I make enough room in my dirty kitchen for all of my stuff. <laughs> it's been kind of crazy. I'm in the middle of canning salsa verde as we speak. Okay, I have to grab one more thing. Like, there's nothing I can do to keep up. It's just, you know? So I just say, okay. I think that's like the most lovely thing to say. Like, you know, you're understood even though I have no idea what you just said. I feel like that's the most loving. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so tonight we're going to be making chicken pot pie soup with biscuits. Um... I just wanted to say really quick that I have been uh, blown away by amazing emails from you guys about how far I've been reaching with my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to share some of those stories while we're making dinner. Um, I'm just really, really moved. I spent the morning crying after a few emails. I just can't believe that something that I started, I don't make any money here on YouTube, you guys. <laughs> we don't have enough subscribers. I don't have enough views. So I, I never started this to make money. I started this word and it's so encouraging to me to be getting emails um, when people are emailing me to order cookbooks telling me how far um, my reach has gotten it's just I can't thank you guys enough for sharing that with me um, it's very motivating it makes me feel like what I'm doing is worth it and I just really appreciate it so thank you for not only emailing me to order a cookbook but also including how I'm affecting you or the people around you um, it just means a lot to me so um, yeah Amazing. If you haven't ordered your cookbook yet, taking pre-orders this week, all you have to do is email me at abhomestead22 at gmail.com. I'll say it one more time and I can put it down in the link or down in the description uh, below for the email. The email again to order cookbooks is abhomestead22 at gmail.com. 
The cookbook is 190 pages, has over 230 recipes. Every single recipe here on the channel is inside the cookbook, plus a bunch more. Um, tonight we're going to be making biscuits. I'm going to be using my sourdough starter. Um, this is the reason why I'm bringing up, um, trying to get a picture, searching, searching. Hmm. I'm hoping I'm coming through for everybody. Um, I'm going to be using my sourdough. This is the reason why I brought my cookbook is because I realize that not everybody feels comfortable doing sourdough. Um, and that's just fine. And that's why I invented all of my own soaked recipes um, to make biscuits and stuff like that. I didn't have time to soak the flour uh, today, so I actually just did sourdough instead. That's what we're going to make tonight. But just know that in ordering that cookbook, I have an entire section that's devoted to breads and sauce and rolls inside my cookbook. And um, part of that are my from scratch inventions of how to just take simple flour from the store, water, and apple cider vinegar. And that is your base to make everything from sandwich bread to biscuits to everything. So anyway, enough selling the book. I know a lot of you guys have already reached out, but um, that's what's inside the book. Um, it'll take two to three weeks for the publisher to print all of them. And then I will be mailing them to you in the beginning of December. So um, let's get to cooking dinner, shall we? I'm going to check comments one more time. Judy, I hope you're doing okay. Um... Uh, new here from California. Hey, um, do you breed any poultry or livestock? I will talk about that while I'm cooking. That. Jackie, hi, Crystal. Just watch video on ordering your book. We'll be doing that this week. Hey, cool. Thanks, Jackie. Okay, so let's get started and then we can chat about livestock. I'm going to angle this down just a little bit. Okay, guys, so hang on. So most of the action is going to be taking place back here in this pot right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and melt four tablespoons of butter which is about what I have there. I just estimate on my butter. If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know we love butter here, so not a problem. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over medium heat to melt the butter, and we're gonna be sauteing the onion next. I'm actually gonna go grab a little bit more butter though because um, this recipe, I'm gonna be doubling it like I usually do, which means, hint to those of you who are new, this is an amazing recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go get some more butter to get started in that back pan there. And then we're going to get going. All right, look at that. Just enough to double it. <clears throat> Just in case you're wondering, uh, this is the butter that we use for our family. I buy it from um, AzureStandard.com. It's grass-fed and organic. Um, it does not say grass-fed on the label, but if you look into this company, they're in Oregon and have grass like 98% of the year. So... Good brand. Jackie made a comment. Hang on, Jackie. Just got our first Lowe's 30s this morning. Looking forward to doing a lot more cooking. Warm and healthy food. Yum, yeah. We had Lowe's um, in the teens last night. And so I actually filmed a, a video that will be going up later this week on a tour of my greenhouse. Um, it's just, it all of a sudden just dri uh, dropped so cold here. Um, Jackie, are you going to the conference? I obviously am not. I'm here. <laughs> I don't travel much, guys. Um, I went to one conference. It was back. Uh, West Snake Price Conference is what I'm talking about. Um, it was back three or maybe even four years ago now when it was in Minneapolis. Um, that's when I went last. I started chopping, but I need to start chopping one yellow onion. This is a gigantic one, as you guys can see. So this is going to be um, the onion I'm going to use to double this recipe. But if you are... Only making a single recipe, make sure you're just using a regular size onion, okay? Yeah, I'm hoping to go in the future too. Like I went once um, and it was great. I loved it. It's just that um, with a working farm and everything else I've got going on, it just wasn't going to happen this year. So um, I do enjoy it though. There's um, lots of like-minded people there. For any of you guys that are watching and you've never been to a Weston A. Price conference, they have them once a year. Um... And uh, they have doctors and nutritionists and all sorts of people from all over the world come and give um, lectures on different topics. And you can learn a ton at their um, conferences. They're amazing. If you can't go, um, you can also go to www.westonaprice.org and go ahead and order the conference recordings. And you have access to all of the recordings as if you were there. So that's great. 
Uh, hey, Deborah. Awesome. So we have four tablespoons of butter melting on the back burner there, and we've got, we're going to be adding one yellow onion. And like I said, this is a gigantic onion, so if your onion is a regular size onion, <laughs> um, you only need one for sure. I'm, I'm doubling this recipe, so I'm going to use a gigantic onion instead of a, a regular size yellow one. But yes, our temperatures are definitely cold now. <laughs> Um, just crazy. It just, I feel like it came up really fast, but really it didn't for up here. It's just going to be a colder winter. All right, so this pan is over medium heat here. We're going to start sauteing in the back there, right there. In this big stock pot, we're going to start sauteing that onion over medium heat. So the butter is melting and the onion have just started. Hey, Diana! I'm so glad you keep jumping on. I'm encouraged every time you guys keep coming back every week. That's so great. All right, so I'm going to keep on working on chopping my carrots because that'll be one of the next steps here. Um, also, right behind the camera, I um, this morning I started a whole chicken in my Instant Pot. I submerged it in water, added apple cider vinegar, and then pressure cooked it throughout the day. You could also slow cook it if you wanted to throughout the day. Um, basically I woke up this morning, you guys, and I've been so immersed in my cookbook and like wrapping up the last few things that I forgot that my cooking class was tonight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like at 11 o'clock I was like, oh my gosh, today's Tuesday and I need to get stuff ready for my cooking class. So I had to pressure cook it where I would have normally slow cooked it to make broth. But long story short, behind you is an instant pot full of a whole chicken and now fresh broth from um, pressure cooking it with the water and the apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to use that in my recipe tonight. It'll free up room inside my freezer, which I love. Um, but also, um, it's from scratch and it's ready to go. So I don't have to open up any of my jarred um, home canned broth. All right. So somebody on here asked if I breed livestock. Um, we have milk goats that we're breeding currently, um, dairy goats. Um, and then I have chickens and we have geese. We have um, geese that are a uh, meat breed of geese. They're, it's called the Ebden um, goose. They're just like a heavier breed um, that we breed here. Uh, and either I sell them as um, breeding pairs or we butcher them and you know eat them for Christmas. <laughs> um, I have about 11 walking around right now that I have to decide what I'm going to do with this year. <laughs> I'm kind of holding off the decision to to butcher them, especially when it's so cold. It is supposed to warm up here again. Hey, Julie, I love chatting with you today too in an email. Thank you so much. And yes, I did. I grew up, Julie, just to answer your email, I did grow up over on that side of the state. And as a teenager, I worked at that store, that farm store, Julie, and that's how I know Milo. So um, he was an amazing figure in my life. So um, anyway, it's a small, small world. And then Sue, Julie, um, Sue taught me how to ride horses. And um, I broke my first horse with her, which then uh, down the road um, led into me training horses for a living for a while until I got smart and decided to have children instead. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a very small world. But if I ever make it out to that, that location there, Julie, I will for sure shoot you an email because I would love to meet some of you. Um, I did work at that farm store for three or four years. Um, but that was back when I was a teenager. So we're talking, you know, 20 years ago before they moved into their gigantic location. <laughs> all right, so all of my carrots are chopped, although I think I might chop these a little bit smaller. Those look too big. So this soup, like I said, is chicken pot pie soup with biscuits. And like I said, I'm going to be using my sourdough starter. But have no fear, in that cookbook that I am um, currently taking pre-orders for, there are recipes in there on how to make the same recipe, but with a soaked um, flour which is just apple cider vinegar, water, and um, and your flour, your store-bought flour. Um, and then you would have yeast to add to it. So 
like I said, if you're interested in that, email me, um, abhomestead22 at gmail.com, and we'll get that in. You just have to the end of the week to place an order for the cookbook, and then after that, I really need to get the cookbook orders in because I know a lot of people are buying these cookbooks as Christmas gifts, and that's a great idea. They'll be here before Christmas, but I have to get the order in next week, so um, if you're interested, get a hold of me, okay? All right. I'm going to go grab a zucchini because I'm actually going to put zucchini inside this soup instead of a potato um, because we're still low carb. I'm still healing my cavities. You guys probably already saw that video. It's going very well with the cavities. Um, although today, I'll tell you guys, I totally cheated. I made um, soaked uh, soaked cinnamon rolls this morning. Yes. Yes, that that is going to be inside the cookbook too. Um, and they were so delicious that I just had to taste them. And then I was like, oh, I need to eat like half of these, which was not good. So I did not eat half, but I definitely had more than one bite. We'll say it that way. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get that zucchini, okay? This monster was the very last zucchini out of my greenhouse before the freeze last night. I'm gonna look for my peeler. This is like the one drawer inside the house that you like wish was organized, but nobody ever takes the time to organize it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Eventually I will take time to organize it. But until then it just is what it is. All of us have a junk drawer inside our kitchen. It's just a matter of if we show it on camera or not, right? All right, now where's my peeler? I don't think I've used it. I'm gonna put it in here. The problem is my kids do the dishes and then they put them away, and sometimes they don't put them away where they necessarily go. So I'm gonna look in here one more time. By some miracle of God, oh, there it is. By some miracle of God, there's my peeler, but also <laughs> my dishwasher is actually empty right now, which that is really a miracle. All right. Get myself a spoon. This pot back here, stir real quick. I'm just sauteing the onions. If you, you haven't really missed anything, it's just uh, four tablespoons of butter back there in the back burner. Right there. Four tablespoons of butter um, and one yellow onion sauteing, okay? And we're just chopping things ahead of time so we have them ready. Okay, there we go. So, like I said, I'm going to be putting the zucchini in. If you could also do um, one pound of potatoes, but um, because I'm healing my cavities, we're not, um, in, in the family type meals, we're not eating potatoes at this time. Um, so this is a great option for low carb. And I've learned that if you peel it and you seed it and you dice it and you add it about 10 minutes for the soup's gonna be done, maybe 15 minutes before the soup's gonna get done. We're gonna bring it up to a boil and wait and then add it. Um, the zucchini takes on the taste of that soup, and you can't even tell they're not potatoes. <clears throat> the first time I, I put, I don't want to say snuck, but I guess I am sneaking. Uh, sneaking zucchini um, into our soup, uh, my kids ate the soup and asked for seconds and thirds, and then I said, you do realize that's zucchini in there, don't you? And they had no clue. <clears throat> so, just got to get that peel off, because that's kind of the red flag that it's a vegetable. <laughs> And it kind of gives it a firm texture, too, if you don't get the peeling off. All right. Now, go ahead and chop this in half. Let's see. Take the end off. There it goes. Nice, sharp knife. Ta-da. Okay, so these seeds actually aren't too bad, but I'm going to take them out anyway. If I was making, like, a salsa or something, I'd probably leave these in. They're not huge seeds, but they do qualify as seeds, I'd have to say. So I'm going to get a bowl, and we'll put some of this in here, just to get the seeds out. They're not quite crunchy yet, but you know what I mean. It's in that stage where it's kind of iffy. But you could do use yellow squash. You could do, this is a, a green zucchini squash. Um, any of those types of squashes. 
Um, and then just, like I said, make sure you peel it and then take the seeds out. And then it's magically transformed into a potato. I know you don't believe me, but it's totally true. Um, yeah, it's just awesome. So I've actually really, really enjoyed healing my cavities here on the channel for you guys to watch because I've been able to bring a lot more lower carb options to my meals instead of just cooking all carbs. I know some of you guys are low carb. So anyway, this will go out to the chickens and get turned into eggs. So have no fear. Okay, on the back burner, we're going to have to switch gears here. Um, I have the pot so far away from you because we're going to be making biscuits in this one. So to the pot back there, we're going to add our broth. I have a funny story, okay? So <laughs> I'm just about ready to just dump this into the pot. Um, do you think the zucchini will hold up um, if you have leftovers for Yes. Yes, I've had, I've, I've served the same soup up to a week afterwards. It's great. Um, so a funny story is uh, last time we made a soup together, you guys, remember how I like took the broth, this, this whole instant pot, and I just like poured it in, remember that? And there was like beans in it and everything. Well, I kind of forgot that like I put chicken feet in here to make the broth, you know, to make it nourishing. And so, like, my kids were eating, and all of a sudden, they were, like, coming up with, like, chicken nails <laughs> inside the soup. <clears throat> so, Mommy's got to filter the, um, the broth here before it goes into the pot this time. Because um, a few kids got lots of bones, and if they didn't get a bone, then they got a toenail, which wasn't appreciated. Um, it was kind of a, a wild card kind of dinner. And um, the feet, you know, feet of chickens have lots of bones in them. And so basically it became a competition um, as to how many bones they could find in their bowl. Nevea got up to six bones, so that was interesting. She didn't think it was very funny. <clears throat> but I was laughing, Bree was laughing. I'm like, you know what, as long as you don't technically eat it, I mean... It's okay. And even if you did eat it, it's good for you. It's just lots of extra calcium. But they didn't do it that way. So anyway, we're looking for, you guys will be adding three cups of broth. I'm adding around six here. Okay, three cups of broth. Jackie says, I guess you have to eat a little chicken nail to eat just like you have to eat a little dirt in life. It's true. It was so funny because when it comes to my kids, like Nevea is definitely, um, how do I say this? She doesn't like to get dirty, you know, she's just not that type of girl. And that's fine, you know. But um, so when things like that happen, it just like really disturbs her. She just takes it personally and, oh, you know, like one of those. So I've already started praying for her husband, if you know what I mean. So. <laughs> Uh, I keep saying maybe she'll grow out of it, but she just doesn't. <sighs> Oops. Let's, let's wipe off the camera. I think that... Hang on, guys. There we go. Got a little bit foggy there. Um, so anyway, uh, I hope she marries uh, a very caring man that um, is not a farmer. So there's that. <laughs> uh. She does have her strengths. She sometimes likes to cook. She likes to clean. So those are all good things. But something like a toenail in her soup was just a little bit too much, which makes me laugh. So it's all good. So a word to the wise, make sure you are filtering your broth. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add um, that. That was three cups of broth there. Now we're going to go ahead and add one and a half cups of carrots to the pot on the back burner there. And like I said, um, when we started, I'm doubling this, so I'm gonna be adding more ingredients to what I'm telling you, okay? And if you're new here, that means this is a delicious soup because I want seconds for tomorrow and possibly the next day, so. All right. Hang on, I'm rounding up the rest of my carrots, guys. 
And that's still over uh, medium heat. I'm probably going to increase it to medium high because we want this to come up to a uh, low boil so we can start cooking the vegetables in there. Um, the next ingredient is, hang on, next ingredient is one and a half cups of celery. I pre-chop my celery and freeze it. So I'm going to dump this into the pot back there. Um, I love to do that because celery oftentimes goes limp um, and you can also buy it when it's on sale and totally freeze it and use it whenever it works for you. Okay. Next ingredient is four ounces of mushrooms. So once again, I buy them when they're on sale and I chop them up and I freeze them. They're going to go into the soup as well. I'm emptying out all sorts of freezer bags today, you guys. I made salsa verde with my green, um, my green tomatoes from the garden that um, were on the plants that froze. <laughs> and um, I needed a bunch of stuff that I already had into the freezer, so that was great. All right, so I'm going to angle the camera down, you guys, so you guys can see the way I'm going to be um, cutting up the zucchini. I'm also reserving my chicken until last because it's already cooked. Um, if I were to add the chicken right now, that chicken would um, <clears throat> shred up inside the soup. And we like chunks of chicken over shredded chicken in our soup. So um, since it's already cooked, it'll just wait here on my um, cutting board and we'll add it last. So we're over medium high heat. We're waiting for this to come to a boil. And I'm just going to chop these up just like a potato, just like I would a potato wedge, okay? And like I said, this is zucchini. It's been peeled um, and it still tastes good. Hey, Susan. Thanks for jumping on. All right. So we're just uh, chopping this. If you didn't want to do a zucchini, you sure could do one pound of potatoes that have been peeled and diced, and you'd be adding those in right now. Um, but like I said, I'm healing my cavities. We're on the, the good track, and I'm not going to cheat with this meal. So <laughs> out comes the um, zucchini. I actually haven't had a potato since I started healing my cavities. Um, that's not usually where I cheat. I'll cheat with like um, the um, like this morning the soaked cinnamon rolls that I made. Um, I'll cheat with that, and it's only a cheat because it's a carb, you guys. Like that's healthy food. All the food that I cheat on is all healthy. It's just that right now I shouldn't be consuming carbs because in order to heal your cavities, you want your blood sugar to be maintained and not not go up really, really high um, from eating certain foods. So anyway, I'm just adding this right to the pot. <clears throat> it holds it, its form. It almost um, is like a super soft potato when it gets done. So that liquid on the back is almost up to a boil. All right, I don't know how much to add. That's the only thing with the zucchini. Um, so I just kind of guess each time, give the soup a little stir, and then decide, does it have enough chunks in it, or does it need more sort of deal? Okay, that's a big chunk. We want them to, to think that they're at least potatoes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go get some frozen peas out of the freezer, and I'll be right back. It's one of those situations where my chest freezers are like covered in boxes and crates of unripe tomatoes. <laughs> so I had to move everything. All right, so you're going to be adding one cup of peas, which for me is two cups because I'm doubling. You can use fresh peas if you have access to that. I don't because everything's frozen. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get out this other chicken breast off of this chicken here. I'm going to dice it up for the soup. 
So all in all, you need, let's see, I'm looking at my recipe, uh, three cups of cooked chicken. You sure could use raw chicken as well. Just remember that as you are into the store buying chicken, that um, if you're not getting the um, skin on your breasts or on your um, thighs and everything, there's vitamin A in there that your body needs for the meat you're just about to eat. So um, especially if you're paying a little bit extra money for pastured chicken, um, organic free range chicken, um, there's lots of vitamin A in that skin that you need. So uh, make sure that when you're in the store, you're buying animal parts that have skin on them. What's cool about cooked chicken um, is that I'm just throwing all the bones back in my Instant Pot, which is right up here. Um, and I'm going to make bone broth out of that. So it's pretty much like a double use, which is awesome. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. Be right back. If you guys are new here, um, we do live cooking classes every Tuesday night um, at 5.15 p.m. Central Standard Time where we make an amazing nourishing meal for your family that's kid approved. So if you are new and you like that sort of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I've got over 200 videos on my channel about how to make nourishing food. So if you're into that, smash the subscribe button. And if you're watching and you like this type of content, please give me a thumbs up. That just helps spread. I'm not making any money off of YouTube, you guys. Um, so if you can push a thumbs up, we can let more people know about nourishing nutrient dense foods. Okay. So we are going to get on with the biscuits thing here. So I have this much left over. I'm probably going to like dice it up, put it into the refrigerator and have it available for the next soup I make. Um, I could freeze it, but the problem with freezing zucchini, as many of you guys know, is that the liquid all comes out and then it gets kind of a funky texture. So, um, I've never used frozen zucchini in a soup before. I'm going to move my cutting board here off of the screen and we're going to get going on the next step. <clears throat> okay, I just want to make sure I got everything in here. I got, we have potatoes. Of chicken has to wait because my chicken is not raw. If you're using raw chicken, you sure could um, chop it up and put it in there right now. You could even put in like a whole chicken thigh into your broth and just cook it that way and then take it out and debone it okay so in here four tablespoons of butter one onion one and a half cups of carrots one and a half cups of celery oh we gotta do we gotta do garlic i don't think we've done garlic yet hang on i had garlic sitting out here there it is never made it all right four cloves of garlic i gotta put four cloves of garlic in there <laughs> i'm just gonna grab my knife and use the small cutting board we're gonna do our lesson on garlic, you guys, because this is how I learned how to cook. Um, I know some of you guys already know this, but hang in there for those who don't, because I didn't. The garlic, a uh, bunch of garlic here. Hey, Carl, you met, buddy. I'm gonna email you about the cookbook um, tonight, okay? Um, okay, so this is one bunch of garlic and then a bunch of garlic or one bulb of garlic um, or a whole bunch of cloves. So the goal is to break the cloves free. This is a garlic clove, okay? Um, okay, Judy, I'm going to respond to your thing in just a second, okay? Because it took it away before I could finish. Um, this is a garlic clove, okay? Um, do not buy the garlic that's already minced inside the store. There's tons of preservatives in that. If you just flip it around and you start reading the label, you'll see that it's more than just garlic in there. So all you do is use your fingers to separate off a clove off of the bulb. Hi, William. William came to learn. Um, and then what we're going to do is there's this little hard, hard part here. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. I should have really added this garlic when I was sauteing, but it'll still be good. Hi, Will. How you doing? You going to help mommy? Okay. Here, right, I'll put the camera up so you guys can see a cute kid. Ready? What are you doing, Will? You don't want to. Are you tired? You don't want to spend time with your sissies. Yeah. Yeah. Are they being mean? Tell me all about it. No, it's not. No, they're being nice. That's nice. Anyway, once you um, cut the end off, I guess I should have shown that. 
Um, what ends up happening is that um, skin will release from the rest of the clove. So you can just slip the clove out. And you can keep all of your skins, okay? Onion skins, garlic skins, the end to your celery, the end to your carrots, and you can put all of that in the pot when you're gonna make broth. You wanna help me? Okay, so can you pick up the garlic and put it in the pot over there for mommy? Yeah, put it over all the way over there. Yeah, and you know what? Your hands are kinda like a little iffy. Let me get a washcloth, guys. <laughs> what was that you said, Julie, about eating dirt? Or was that Jackie that said that? <laughs> We're officially eating dirt now. Okay, let me just, it's okay. You're outside playing, but see you're handling our food. So we're gonna clean you up a little bit, okay? And then you can help mommy. I love the help. It's very nice. Thank you for the help. Okay, let me dry your hands off and then you can help, okay? All right, because you were out playing in the dirt, I think. Okay, now we're ready to go. Sorry, you guys. You want them down? Okay, so that was two garlic cloves. We need four garlic cloves for this recipe. Okay, just let me, I'm gonna chop them, okay? You can put them into the soup, I promise. All right. There's one. I gotta chop, I gotta, chop, I gotta dice it though, okay? So don't take it yet. Okay. Here we go, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's watch William grab the. I'm just going to cut it, so don't put your fingers on here right now, okay? All right, now you can put it into the soup. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You going to put it into the soup? Yeah. Okay, they're watching. They're still watching you. Go ahead, put it in the big pot. Good job. Five points for William. Good job. Okay, here you go. Here's another one. So I'm going higher than four cloves, you guys, because I'm doubling the recipe. <clears throat> but it is literally, that's how you peel a garlic. It's really, really easy. I know that the pre-shop stuff is convenient and you can just scoop it out like a powder. But please, if, if your life is that tight where you can't chop garlic, then just buy some garlic powder and just use that in place of garlic cloves because it's so much healthier for you. and It doesn't have any preservatives. It's just dried garlic. Okay, one more, William, okay? They're gonna watch you put it in, okay? <laughs> All right, mommy's gonna chop it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. And then you wanna help mommy make biscuits? Biscuit? Yeah, you wanna make a biscuit with mommy? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, you wanna help me? Okay. Here we go, you ready? One more cut, okay? One more. One more cut. Keep your hands over there. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go up. So, oh, see, they're still watching you. They're watching you, Will. Good job. <laughs> okay, I told um, Judy I was going to catch up on our comment. Hang on one second. Okay, after this video, I am off to the PO to send a check for two of your cookbooks. Oh, thank you, Judy. I'm so excited. Thank you, Crystal, Aubrey, and Nevaeh. Yes, yes, yes. Carl says, hi, five, William. There we go. Uh, Jay says, McKenna says, hi, William. Can you say hi, William? Hi. <laughs> okay, so that's the garlic. Ooh, don't, I'm not going to push you off. All right, so this is coming to a boil back here. That's great. Now we're going to switch um, gears really quick. Jackie says, great job, William. Good job, buddy. Why don't you get you on your face? Is that a marker? Hang on. I know, mommy's gonna lick you. Every boy hates that, but you got like marker or something on your face. Okay, I'll kiss you. No, it's a marker. There you go. You're good to go now. It's from not my uncle. Oh. You were coloring and you got it on yourself? Okay. All right, we're gonna go to seasonings for the back soup since it's coming to a boil back there. Okay, so we need um, three quarters of a teaspoon of oregano. Do you need some 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 cinnamon? Oh, no cinnamon in here. No, this is actually a soup, <clears throat> so we don't need cinnamon in that one. I don't think that would taste very good. It'd be colorful though. That would be that would be um, 
You know, buddy, that would be really interesting. That would be an interesting soup. Oof, duh. Okay, basil's the next ingredient. And we've got three quarters of a teaspoon of basil. Like I said, I'm doubling this, so in goes double the amount. All right, I gotta grab some rosemary here. Where is my rosemary? Hmm. I know it's in here. Is this it? Whew, I'm mama guessed right. Half of a teaspoon of rosemary, you guys. So I need a whole teaspoon. There we go. And then salt. Um, I recently bought this salt, and if you guys can buy this brand, it's so delicious. Um, Herberon? Her Herbion? I don't know. Um, so good. Like, I love um, real salt, but this actually is better than real salt. It has so much flavor. It's so good. Uh, it's triple wash in spring water. Amazing product, Okay. That's what I actually have in my shaker right now. But really all that matters is that you're using a salt that is colored. We want colored salt. The reason why you want colored salt instead of white salt, he's listening even, look at that, is because <laughs> the color in the salt is the minerals and the minerals help to balance the sodium that's in salt. So um, you need colored salt um, for your body to handle the salt well. So we need three quarters of a teaspoon of healthy salt. Whoa, William, I just covered you in salt. Sorry, buddy, are you okay? <laughs> Did I put on your shirt? No. Oh, sorry. Cooking with mommy is hazardous, apparently. That's all right. It's all good. Are you well seasoned, buddy? Ha ha, every boy remembers every mother doing that half a century later. Ha <laughs> ha, I know, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. My mom used to lick her hand and like smush like your like little cow lick on your hair down. I don't quite do that. I just try to push it over, you know, but um, anyway, hilarious. All right. So this is boiling away. Did I lick you? These are the coolest spoons too, by the way. This is called a lazy spoon. You can buy them at Target. But they have like this little notch here. Um, I love the idea of a spoon rest, but they get so dirty. So um, these just hang on the side of your pot. And it's great if you have a family and everyone's coming up and dishing up repeatedly, all the mess drips right back into your pot. So totally worth the money. They're made out of silicone, meh, but I love them because it's low mess, okay? Absolutely amazing, my stomach's grown. All right, so that's gonna simmer away back and actually kind of more like a boil, boil away until all of those um, vegetables are soft. So in the meantime, we're going to rotate the camera down. We're gonna make some biscuits. Like I said, I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna be using my sourdough starter today. But inside the cookbook that I have available now has a recipe for soaked uh, muffin or soaked dinner rolls and soaked English muffins and all of that sort of thing. Um, it's just, I ran out of time, you guys, today to make that for you. I was gonna, what's wrong? You're hungry? Okay, would you like a piece of cheese? Yeah. Don't touch the knife. Okay. I'll get you a slice of cheese. Uh uh. You want what? Cheese. Slice of cheese, okay. Anyone else want a slice of cheese? <laughs> it's good cheese. As your standard. All right, buddy, I'm gonna, this is a snack break, okay? And then we're gonna start on our on our biscuits, okay? Maybe I'll have a piece too, because my stomach's crawling too. How about that? Sound good? Who likes it? All right. Onward. Gotta get a bowl. Hey, Janice, I saw you're on. Um, Carl, yes, I said Target for the spoon. It's called a lazy spoon. Um, somebody invented it for Rachel Ray like 20 years ago, and then I think she got bought out. 
Um, William is yawning a lot. Will he stay awake till dinner is over? I'm not really sure. Um, the funny thing about baby number five for me is I turned into one of those moms that's like, if you find him laying somewhere asleep, just leave him alone. So we don't really have naps. All of the other children all had naps. Um, I've just kind of let him decide whenever he wants to like pass out. So, um, he's actually like really good at that. He, he, no problem. He'll go to sleep and then. Even if it's late at night, no problem. He'll just jump right back up and, and then stay up for an hour and go back to bed. So it's actually pretty darn good. So I just kind of let him decide. But sometimes he falls asleep while he's eating. Sometimes he falls asleep uh, just at the table staring at his food. Um, sometimes he'll make it all the way through dinner and then he'll leave the room and go to bed. <clears throat> right, buddy? Did you have a long day today? Yeah. Did you play outside? And I can't put on a rock. You were playing on a rock on the farm? Okay, so I'm going to measure out probably three cups, actually. Yeah, on the farm. Our house is called a farm, William. It's where people have animals. Okay? It's called a farm. Okay. Whoopsie. You're going to put it in? Oh, want to scrape it out? Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. This. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Brilliant. That's that's perfect. That's you are amazing, chef. You gonna take over my YouTube channel one day? Do you want to be a cook when you grow up? Or are you gonna work in construction like Daddy? I have to get more. Okay. <clears throat> You're so cute. <clears throat> you want to turn the light on to the kitchen for a moment? See how the light's off and the sun's going down? Yeah. yeah. Can you go shut it, turn it on for mommy? Thank you, buddy. And then I'll let you scrape out the last one. How about that? You're such a good helper. All right. So this might be interesting because usually I make a thicker sourdough starter, so... I'm not promising that this is going to exactly turn out. <laughs> It'll still be good. It's still bread even. Oh, you want to you scrape it out? So three cups of sourdough. Oh, it's coming out all by itself. See? Ooh. I'd like for it to be a lot thicker, but we're just going to roll with it. You ready? Usually I try to keep a 60% hydration rate with my sourdough. So that means if I add 10 cups of flour, I add 6 cups of water. Um, <clears throat> but this time the house was so warm and it was just, um, cause we have our wood stoves going now. So it was hard to decide when to stop adding water. <clears throat> so this is your forewarning. This is probably going to be a sloppy mess, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. So this sourdough starter has been sitting out. You guys saw how bubbly it was, but just to ensure I get some rise um, out of this, I'm going to add some baking soda. So there's three cups of sourdough starter there. I'm going to add about a teaspoon and a half of baking soda. Maybe just a teaspoon. A teaspoon looks like enough. Um, if your sourdough starter is thicker than this, then you would want to add an egg. But I don't want pancakes, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. Now, buddy, buddy, come to me. We're going to turn this on, okay? And so I don't want you to touch it because I don't want you to get burned. I'm not. Okay. You you just chill out, okay? I'm gonna get some lard. Gonna, I'll, I'll put it on. You wanna put the lard inside the pan? Yeah. Okay. You're quite the helper today. Are you just bored or something? Okay, put a scoop in there. So the pan is not on yet, guys. So before somebody types, oh my gosh, it's gonna burn itself, it's not even on. I think you might have to scrape it, yep. There you go. Can you put just a little bit more? All right. Yep, scrape it out. Good job. Okay, now what mommy wants to do, I love your help, but that's gonna get super hot, buddy. So mommy's gonna scoot you over, okay? I'm gonna move you this way, ready? One, two, three, over. I don't want you to get burned, okay? Hot, it's gonna be hot. Okay, so I am turning the heat on to medium heat here. 
And he's just swirling it around. Just don't touch the pan, okay, buddy? Because as you do now, we you be crying. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are with us tonight. Um, Deborah, when you finish tonight, could you post information below to order your cookbook? Yes. I will put my email down below. So the way it works is you just um, email me and say, hey, um, Deborah, say, this is Deborah, and I want to order a cookbook. And then we have two ways that you can get me money. Number one, I have a PO box for Abundantly Blessed Homestead, um, or I can um, PayPal you, you an invoice that you can pay. So whichever way you would like to go, um, figure that out once you email me. Um, but I'll put my email down below in the description box. But it's um, A, the letter A, and then B, homestead22 at gmail.com. But I will definitely link it down below when I'm finished. It's really open. All right, you got it? It's melting well. Okay. So mommy is going to... Um, it'll be okay. It, it'll be okay. So I'm just going to stir this, you guys, kind of like folding it in on itself. And like I said, this is like way more watery than what I wanted. So this could be a really interesting English muffin, but um, that's okay. So I'm just stirring it around. <laughs> and as soon as that skillet is preheated, we're going to add, add it on in there, right, William? Um, I'm pretty good. Um, I think mommy will probably do that part because look at, look at how messy it is. You see it? It's just, I don't know how I'm going to make that into a biscuit. Do you know? I can put it in. You're going to scoop it and turn it into a biscuit? Yeah. Are you sure? And then into the pan and you think it's going to turn into a biscuit? Yeah. I'm willing to let you try. I just think we have some pancake material here. Okay. Uh, just give it a minute. And mommy's going to see if the pan is, is warm enough. Not quite yet. Just give it another minute, okay? And then we're going to put it on in. So like I said, this is a bit too runny, but we're going to we're gonna go with it anyway, guys. Yeah. My house has been so warm that the sourdough is just taking off. Oh, not hot. Yep, don't touch it. Remember what mommy said? Not hot. I know. It's not. It's okay. Not. Yep. All right. Now, you, how are you going to make a biscuit? Can you tell me again how this is going to work? You're going to take pancake stuff and turn it. How are you going to do it? And put it in the Just put it in, and then scoop it. Are you going to scoop it just like that overhand and everything? Okay. So, okay, you try. try. Hey, starting over Homestead. Let's see what he can do, guys. Cheer him on. Cheer him on in the comments. Come on, buddy. Show me how you can do it. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> let's give that one a minute. Just hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just give that one a minute. Let's see how that one turns out. Okay, just, just a minute. I know, you already have your spoon in here, but just, just give it a minute, because I might get you a scoop. Would you like a scoop instead? Yeah. Okay, just a minute then, okay? Just a minute, buddy. I'm going to hook you up. I wonder if my... I'm going to hook you up, yeah. Hook you up, bud. All right, so go, go put it in. you're in front of my drawer, so we're just gonna use this when it gets done. So we're in the little biscuit, little mini biscuit, little Williams oh. biscuit. Oh, that seems to be growing. Um, is in the middle of the pan here, <laughs> and we're let's, let's uh, yeah, let's push, push those two together. Okay, just a minute. I'm gonna scoop in just a minute. Okay, no more spoon. So we're just waiting for this to get bubbly um, and the bottom and the edges to kind of look golden brown. Then we're going to flip it with apparently this because I can't get into my drawer because he's in front of it. Love you. All right. We should see if the carrots are done. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you would like to try a bite too? Okay. Um, yeah. Hang on. Um, it's going to be a carrot, so hang on, we're going to like, there you go. Now blow, because it's hot. Yeah, blow again. It's going to need more blowing. Keep blowing. Okay, you can try it now. It's cooked. Oh, maybe blow again. It's steaming again. There you go. Do it again. Is 
still hot? Does it mean, oof? yeah, it needs more hoop? Oof, here. <laughs> okay, take a little bite. Good? Okay. We're good. There is no, there's no burn mouth. He's okay. It's okay. Nobody, nobody get worried. Okay. So I'm going to flip this little biscuit. Not too bad, William. It's looking nice. <laughs> Smile at you guys. You just want to be in front of the camera tonight. Is that what this was? Hang on. I got to get you a scoop. Okay. Hang on. You did what? That to that. Yeah, don't touch the, don't touch it because it'll burn you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's done. What's done? No, it's not done yet. Just leave it, buddy. You had to ship in the oven. I have to get you a scoop. I wasn't planning on getting you a scoop. Hmm. Well, here, let me get this one. I'm thinking in my sink is very dish, you guys. This is real TV here. The maid didn't come today for some reason. I don't know. Maybe she's on strike. I don't know what I'm telling you. You what? What did you just say? What? You don't know what? You silly boy. Okay, we have ourselves a scoop. Yep, you're going to use this one. And you're going to... Can you show me how you're going to do it into the pan? Might as well, because they're all going to be colorful biscuits anyway tonight. All right, let me move this one out of the way because I see a koi coming here. All right, so just dump it. Yeah, oh, oh, uh, oh, here, oh, oh, um. Okay, well, let's have mini biscuits. Okay, let, can mommy help you? Here, let me scrape you out, okay? Here, just scrape you out. There you go, okay. There's your first big biscuit, good job, William. Do you want to put another one, like right here? All right, you just show the people how to do it, William. You're doing so good. It's taking longer, but nobody cares. Hello, he will have life skills and no need to rely on McDonald's. Amen to that. Okay. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Just let it drip, okay? Because, see, it's gonna, it's just gonna fall. But if you keep shaking it, see, you're gonna put it up on mommy's. Can I do it? Uh, just give me a minute. I'm separating your muffins. Hang on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. you're just really on it, aren't you? Just a second. Just we gotta get this. We gotta get this one out of here. Hang on a minute. You're such a good helper that that, that one needs to go. That, that mommy can't even like keep up. <clears throat> yeah, this one has to get out, right? That 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 that, that and mine did one. Oh. Okay, you're gonna eat it. Hang on. Whoa. Okay, right there, right there. Just you, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You are something. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> All right, let me scrape you out. There you go. You got it. Good job. Okay, so but just a minute. We have to wait. Because look, look. Hey, stop. Stop. Look. William, stop. There's no more room, so we have to wait. Okay? Just, shh. It's okay. It doesn't all have to be done at once. You're reminding me of your father. Okay, so just give it a minute. It's going to cook, and then guess what? When they're cooked and we take them out of the pan, then you can put some more in there. Yeah, I'm going to put that one in there. Yeah, you can put that one in there. I'm going to scoop it. You're going to scoop it in and go like that? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. 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 Okay, so they're all in just a minute. They're all done. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, that one's done. Should I take that one out? Yep. I'm going to put that right there. You're going to put it right there? Okay, so maybe I should move this one over then. If that's where your landing spot's going to be. Hang on a second. You're doing really good, William. I'm Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. You almost got me there, buddy. I'll scrape you out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take it out in just a minute, I promise. So, these are supposed to be more like an English muffin, which they're more like a pancake, a thick pancake. Um, if my sourdough starter wouldn't have gotten so runny, this would have been a delicious, um, a delicious, this one's not too bad. That one's almost cooked, almost cooked. 
Um, they would have been a lot thicker and more like an English muffin. Oh, yeah. Well, as soon as we're ready for it, we will add it. I promise. Okay? I promise. Okay, now can, can mommy sneak into this drawer you're in front of? Just stay right there. Okay, don't, yep. Don't get that in my hair because that would be really funny. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I'm, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just leave that. Right just leave it right, leave it. Yep, okay. All right, so what I'm going to do back here, I'm going to move the camera up a little bit while we wait for our next biscuit adventure, um, is this soup actually gets thickened. So I'm going to take a ladle. And I'm going to ladle out probably two cups of the liquid. If you get a little bit of vegetables, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Two cups. And I'm going to go grab some milk because we got to add some milk. So hang on, buddy. Okay, we're not quite. We're getting there. Patience. It's a good thing. Like when you get a wife one day, you're going to need to be patient. I am. You're patient? Oh, good. Okay, there we go. Second biscuit. <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, so now we have a spot. Are you ready to are you ready to commit? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Oh. There it goes. You're doing so good. Good job, buddy. Okay now, just a minute. Just hey, 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 hey. Hello. Hi. You have to wait. Okay, because we got we have to cook. Remember, we have to cook. So, I know you're like so you're so ready to do this. You're all over it. Okay, I'm gonna get some milk. So don't touch the pan. Don't burn yourself. Okay. I need some mommy. You want what? You like milk? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we are going to measure out. Two cups of milk. Do you want a little sip? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'll get you a little bit. <clears throat> Ready? There you go. Sort of like, okay, hang on. We'll clink glasses. Here, look. Mommy's going to have a little one. Here, oh, hang on. Don't drink it all. The cow would be sad. Here. Here. We'll clink our glasses. Okay, now you can drink it. Mmm, that's good milk, huh? All right. Good job, buddy. Is it good? The cow not be mad. No, the cow won't be mad. He's the cow is very happy that you're growing big and tall. Remember that? Remember that uh, cow song? Remember? Where the cow came through the front door one morning because she was wondering where all her milk went to. And the cow went to the door and said, move over. Let me come inside. She said, move over. That's a whole lot of milk to hide. Remember? You want to put it right there? Remember then the cow learned that the kids were drinking her milk and getting nice, big, and strong? You remember that song? Oh, I like that song. You like that song? Yeah. I like the eagle song. Mm-hmm. And the cow song. The cow song, yeah. They're not angry that you drink their milk. They're happy that you're growing big. Okay, we're ready for another one, William. I can. Okay. <clears throat> I haven't done anything to the broth on the back burner, guys. I've been preoccupied by a almost four-year-old making biscuits. Bang. Okay, so we're aiming right here. We're in this general area, right? Yeah, like right there. Yep, that's perfect. Great, that's awesome. Yes. You are such a good biscuit maker. There we go. Okay, so yeah. we're going to need a definite kitchen cleanup after this. Okay, there we go. Yep. Yep, just a kitchen cleanup. It's okay. The kitchen's already dirty anyway. Uh, we're just going to wait. There's not an open spot right now. It's sort of like waiting in a waiting room, you know, and we're just waiting. Okay, hang on. Okay. Okay. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, yep. Okay, all right. Now you're loaded. But you're gonna have to wait. So I don't know. Big bump. Okay, it is gonna be a big one, but you're gonna have to wait. So yeah, the big one's gonna wait. Okay, you're just gonna wait, and then we're gonna put it in there. It is, it's slippy right there. Uh, it's okay if it drips, cause you're still in the bowl. 
It'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one, and then it'll be time. So just a minute. Dripping. Okay. Yeah, it's, I, like it's okay. Bad. It's okay. I'm not really concerned that it's dripping. It's it's gonna be all right. Okay, go ahead. Let's 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 do it. All right there. Ready? Here it comes. Oh, big one, Cookie. Yeah. You did that all by yourself. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. I can help. I'm so glad you came to help me. It's so nice having your help. I don't get your help very often. All right, I'm going to go into the pantry and grab the cassava flour. So, William, look at mom. Don't touch the pan. It's hot. I'm not. Okay, I'll be right back. Don't touch it. You gotta wait. You're getting ready. You're just. Could, 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 could I get my a, a big dump? Okay, just yep. You know what, buddy? Um, let me get into this drawer again in front of you because my whisk is either in here or I need to wash it. It's one of the two, and it's looking like I gotta wash it. So, ooh, heave it, heave it, heave it. Oh, got it. Yep. Okay, you got it. I got it. All right. I'm not going to drop it. I'm so glad you're not going to drop it. You're such a smart boy. You got it? Oh, it's okay. You know what? I think our pan needs some more lard. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, because it's looking pretty. It's looking pretty dry. So I'm putting. Uh, okay, put that down. Just, just, yep. Yeah, mm, oh, maybe not like that. Okay, hang on. Oh, there you go. Okay. You put that in there. Ooh. Okay, right? Ooh. Oh, oh, uh. There. It's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. It's going to melt and then it's going to be ready for your biscuit. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Keep your body over there, buddy. Keep your body over there. Okay, here. Yeah, right there. Ooh, I'm going to drop that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I took it away. It's not going to get you. Okay, we're going to put this one over now. Ready? That's your big one, remember? There you go. All right, you ready for another big one? Yep. Okay, get your scoop. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh. Oh, boy. This is one's going to be epic. I can feel it. All right, right here. Okay, somewhere in the pan. That's good. Just not on mommy's counter. All the way over. Ooh. It's okay, just bring it on over. We'll, we'll, it's okay. Woo! Okay. Oh my gosh, it's like a, you know what it is? It's sort of like a hurricane that you watch. It's just like covering off the uh, door and it. No, it does! I got my thing. <laughs> I know I got my thing. It's okay, buddy. You want me to fill it up again for you so you can, can um, dump it? Quite fun, it will put right there. Yep, ooh, here I go. Are you ready? And you can help me with the next one. How about that? Is that okay? Oh, oh some more. You're doing really good. Did you know that? You're, you're doing such a good job, William. Yeah, we're going to have to scrape it and we'll fill up your cup. Okay, and then you can dump it. My maid was gabbing on the phone all day today. Yeah, exactly, Judy. <laughs> uh, hi, Peace Blakers Farm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got help tonight. All right, just a minute, okay? Like, just a minute. We got we got some flipping to do, and then we're gonna make some room. Just a second. Oh. Um, okay. You know what? Um, can I help you? Um, okay. Let me let me help you. Let me help you. Let me just. You hold it there, and then we're gonna do it really quick. Okay. Ready? One. Two. Here you go. Go quick. Go quick. No, 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 go quick. Just go, go, go. There you go. Oh, I got it. That's okay. It's, you know what? Don't worry about the little bit. Just tip it upside down. Oh. Oh. There you go. Yep. Good job, buddy. Good job. It's okay. I'll fix it. It's, it's okay. It's really not. Um, you know what? It's really okay. Like, the biscuits are already. I'm going to put them Well. I don't think it's a big enough of a hole right there for another one. 
but I appreciate that thoughtfulness. Should we do this here? Here, we could add this one. Should I add it to the, the biscuit and make a really big biscuit for you? Here, I'll add it. You ready? Here we go. Add it right to the top, just so that you can have your own monumental biscuit. Now we're all done. Uh, mommy, mommy will have to wash that unless the maid decides to come back. I think she quit like 11 years ago. Yep. Okay, put it back in there. No, Dad. All done. No, Dad. No, oh, my. I'm really eat that. And that's yep, we're going to eat it with the soup. we got to thicken that soup up, and then the soup's all done. So. Is it, is it, is it a cloth biscuit in there? Um, I don't know what you just said. But, um. Go dip that back in that. Yes, you're gonna dip that inside the soup. Yep, that's what's gonna happen. Does that sound good to you? Does that sound good to you, William? Yeah. Yeah. Nope, the milk. <laughs> the milk is for the soup, William. Do you want another, another celebratory? Thing of milk. Yeah. Here, we'll do it. Okay. We both made biscuits and nobody got burned. And I still have a kitchen that's not covered in dough. This is mommy's. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. And, and yours. Okay, then we gotta we gotta clink them, remember? Ready? Ah! ah. Alright, drink your milk. Gosh, don't drown. <laughs> now that would be a series of unfortunate events, wouldn't it, guys? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this one's done. We're getting more like English muffins here towards the end. It must have been a little bit thicker on the bottom of the bowl. All is not lost, guys. They always taste good. When you're getting used to sourdough, the flour. I'm not doing it. Oh, can I have I'm mine? I'm going to take mine now. All gone. Yeah. The flops are not flops, guys. I, I so. don't want any more. I don't want any more. Okay, so these are all cooked over medium heat, just in case somebody's still taking notes after all of this chaos. Yeah, right. No. I appreciate that 11 of you guys are still on here with all the chaos. Um, we got pretty good English muffins in the end, but these will make good biscuits to dip in. A little bit of butter. That one, you know what? That one's not done yet. So as soon as it gets done, then I will do it. Don't do that, buddy. Because listen, this is hot. Your, your face is so pretty that I don't want it to get burned. Okay? And I'm full. You're so handsome. I don't want you to fall in there. That would be bad. I'm not going to fall in that. I'm so glad you're not going to fall in that. At least by plan. I'm glad. I'm, I'm moving dirty dishes, guys, so I can find my whisk. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to trip and fall in there. I found the wrist. It's a wash. Stand up, buddy. You okay? This scared you, huh? Yep. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, let me grab you fast. I didn't want you to hit the floor. The cow would be sad, wouldn't it? Yes, it would, William. You are so right about that. The cow would say, what happened to that little boy? He used to drink my milk, and now he has a big owie. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm moving the hot thing away from you. I don't want that cow to say what happened. I know. We, we want the cow to be happy and say, Yeah. Where's all my milk going to? Oh, good. It's going to a little boy who's growing. Okay, so onward, everyone. <laughs> We're going to thicken the soup up. So, like I said, I took out two cups. I, I'm going to grow up. I know you're growing up. You are growing up. Two cups of the broth out of the soup. I'm going to turn this over medium heat. 
And then we're going to... Tomorrow you're going to grow up? Yeah. How big are you going to be tomorrow? All the way up. All the way up? Like you're going to be all grown up tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, no. All the way up. You know what? You're really, really wise because it's probably going to feel like it was just tomorrow, right? I can't, I can't be happy. <laughs> Samantha just jumped on. We can vouch for the English muffin side, but those biscuits will be delish. Thanks, Sammy. Judy says the title of this fun video could be called How William Learned Patience, Coordination, Safety, Commitment While Growing in Self-Confidence and Making Us All Laugh. Love him. Love and learn along with him. Yeah. Are you done now? You done helping? Yeah. What would help is if mommy put her on the right burner. That would help. Well, mommy's making it. You know what? Do you want your little tiny biscuit? Yeah. Okay. Don't tell anybody. I'm not. Okay. I'm not going to tell anyone. You let me know if it's good. Okay? How is it? Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Mmm. All right. <laughs> All right. So I accidentally turned on the wrong burner over medium heat. So I am on to the, I turned the, the back burner onto medium heat now. We're going to get this uh, soup all nice and thickened. So choices for thickener could be things like um, cornstarch. Um, oof, cornstarch or like arrowroot powder. I'm going to use cassava flour. Um, this is not a GAPS approved ingredient, so if you're on the GAPS diet, this is not something you want to add. When you're on the GAPS diet, basically your soups are all um, not thickened. That is when we finally got off the GAPS diet, I was like, woohoo, we get to have thick soups again. Um, and as far as my cavities go, if I were to eat an entire half a cup of this, that would be a no-no, but since there's only going to be a little bit going into this huge pot, I'm not really worried about it. You know what else we could wait for? We're waiting for this back uh, pot here to come out to a simmer. And so while we're waiting, I'm going to look at my cutting board and we're going to add our already cooked chicken to this pot. Okay, stay right here. Listen. Okay, be careful. You stand still. We'll be right back. Okay. Um, I'm, not, I'm not leaving you. I'm just over here getting the chicken. Don't do that, buddy. Stand up. Stand up. Thank you. I don't want you to get burned, so. Okay. Alright, buddy. Now. I wait for the You waiting for what? What? Cheese. Cheese? You are hungry, huh? All right, so we're just waiting for the liquid that I took out of the soup on the back to come to a simmer. And now that the burner's on, that'll actually like happen here, so that's good. You gonna get down now? Okay, don't fall asleep though, okay? You have to go potty before you fall asleep. All right, so really quick, guys. That was an adventure. Uh, really quick, next week is going to be um, bean smothered enchiladas. I'm going to be making them in the grain-free keto um, tortillas. I have that recipe up here on the channel. If you're interested in that, if you're grain-free or low-carb, awesome. Um, I'm going to be obviously putting beans in there that are not low-carb, but they're going to be my homemade refried beans. That video is up, up here on the channel as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a pre-scheduled event like I have been doing so that you guys can can click on the little button that says notify me so you'll get a notification to remind you that we're going to be doing this next Tuesday night, uh, making bean and cheese smothered enchiladas. Very good meal. Um, but anyway, if you're going to take part in that, it does require at least soaked, even better fermented beans um, to go in that meal. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, my channel, um, let's get this thick and hang on. Uh, my channel has lots of videos on soaking and fermentation. The long and short of it is your unlocking the nutrients for your family so that um, the food fills them up better and they are more well nourished with your food that you're feeding them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with three tablespoons. So I'm gonna start with, we're gonna whisk it up here and see where we're at. So I've said this before, but whenever you're adding thickener to a liquid, 
We want to make sure you whisk it in well, first of all. And second of all, allow that liquid to come back up to a full simmer before you judge whether or not you need more thickener. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add the two cups of milk, and I'm going to have to do four cups, remember. So I'm going to add two cups of milk. We're going to whisk it. I'm going to allow it to come back up to a simmer while I grab two more cups of milk. And maybe a little bit extra milk after that helper that I just had. <laughs> I might need another swig of milk, okay? Hey, cheers to everybody who made it through that, including myself. Go grab yourself some raw milk and join me. Whew. He likes to be independent, but see, he's only three, so there's only so much independence you can have without killing yourself. But he tried. He was very good. All right. <clears throat> we're waiting for this to come up to a simmer, and then it looks like we're going to be adding some more thickener. We want it to be a creamy soup consistency. There is still some broth left in this large pot here. And so we don't want it to be too runny, but we don't want it to be too thick either. It's something that you're going to want to judge as far as a creamy, thick, um, comforting soup. That's, what, that's the kind of texture we're looking for here. Okay. I'm hoping I didn't miss anyone's comments during all of that. So I'm going to scroll back up, you guys, just to see what you guys were saying during all of that craziness. <laughs> Okay, Samantha was on or still is on. Deborah, thanks for jumping on. Jenny, if you're still on, starting over Homestead, hello. Peaceful Acres Farm, hello. Um, Stone Throw Acres up Janice, hello Janice. Uh, Carl is on, I'm so glad you're on, Carl. Um, let's see, Jackie, thanks for being on. Happy Acres Homestead, hey, cool. I actually have never seen you comment on my video before, so if you're still on here, thank you so much for watching my videos, and thank you for commenting. Um, Susan Williams, I'm so glad you're here. I don't think I've seen your name here either, so welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for commenting and taking the time to watch my videos. And of course, Julie was on. Diana's here again. Thank you so much. All right. We're waiting to come back up to the simmer. I'm so glad you guys are with me and you guys stayed through all of that. That was pretty fun. <sighs> Taking a deep breath because God teaches me to be patient. I would love to like race through these cooking classes, but then see, I would have missed all of that specialness and you guys would have too. So I hope it blessed you guys. Hope you guys were like able to like sit back and kind of laugh and enjoy a little William. Because in, in life, when we race through life and just try to get things done, we miss out on that miss out on those little things so just waiting for this to come up to simmer and we're going to finish thickening it and we're going to add it to the soup and then i think we're done so i'm just double checking my ingredients yep anyway this is a super it turns into be a super thick creamy soup that's going to be delicious with whatever these turned out to be <laughs> they're partially they're like a hybrid they're a hybrid that's what it is it's half uh, pancake, half English muffin, because they had a baby together. That's what this turned out to be, but it'll be good anyway. All right, so on medium heat, I'm going to add another two tablespoons. So that's a total of five tablespoons. But like I said, I'm doubling this. So you guys are probably going to be around two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch or cassava flour. I have doubled the amount of milk going into here, so... This is the same process if you go to make Thanksgiving gravy. You just um, spoon off your liquid in your bottom of your pan when you're making your, um, there it's nice and thick. I don't know if you guys, you guys can't see that because I have the light on. Sorry guys. Um, it's the same process. You just take the drippings from cooking your turkey and you um, do the same process. Add a little bit of thickener, bring it up to a simmer, add a little bit more thickener as needed. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm trying to fix the camera, and it's just flying everywhere. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add my next two cups. For you guys, it's just two cups, okay, so don't overdo it there. I'm going to bring this back up to a simmer, and I'm thinking it's going to be perfect. I'll show you guys the consistency here in just a second. 
Um, but like I said, you bring you bring whatever liquid you're trying to, to thicken into a gravy to a simmer before you decide whether or not you need more thickener. For some reason, in all of my years of cooking, nobody ever told me that, and so I kept adding thickener, and then it ended up being like a jello, which is absolutely disgusting. Um, so just be patient, as William just learned. Let this come back up to a simmer, and then I'm pretty sure this is going to be thick enough. It's the actual temperature that the liquid gets at a simmer that makes the um, thickening action work with your thickeners. Which is why sometimes when you go to can with cornstarch, although I've never really had this happen, but they say that it can break down and um, become too runny. So it's just a special little temperature that makes it nice and thick. We're almost there, guys. <clears throat> Anyway, next week should be great. Um, like I said, the, the video on how to make the uh, keto um, delicious uh, tortillas is up here on the channel. If you haven't seen it, they are absolutely amazing. I also have sourdough tortilla videos up here, sprouted tortilla recipes, corn tortilla recipes, um, how to make all of that. So um, it's all up here. So you're gonna need some sort of tortillas of your choice and then um, I'll, like I said, I'll type the rest of the ingredients, but refried, homemade refried beans, which I have a whole video up here on the channel on how to make those. They're super easy. It's not very intimidating. And they're totally delicious. All right, this is done. So for those of you at home, just to recap, you're going to be taking one cup of the broth out of here into the pan. Then you're going to be adding two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch, whisking that, bringing it to a simmer, and then adding two cups of milk and whisking it again, bringing it to a simmer, and this is the product that you're left with. It's kind of like a cream of mushroom soup consistency, and it's going to get poured right into here. And like I said, if you get a couple of your vegetables in there, it's okay, it's not gonna hurt the vegetables. They'll just be swimming in the thickened goodness. I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up on this soup. It is so, so pretty. Let's see, get rid of this big spoon. Okay. Ready? There it is. So yummy. All right. There it is, guys. That's all I got for you guys tonight. It was an hour and a half quick class because we took time for a little boy who wanted to learn how to cook. All right, I hope you guys had fun tonight. If anyone has any questions with them, comment and I can, I can respond right now. I'm so glad you enjoyed it, Judy. It was fun, it's stressful at times, I'm gonna admit. I'm kind of a mom that's like, okay, 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 okay. You guys probably heard that in my voice, like, oh, don't spill it everywhere. Ah! Anyway, I will uh, put a link down below for those of you who are interested in the cookbook. Just send me an email. And we'll talk about how you can get payment to me. And um, yeah, those cookbooks, um, like I said, in, there's a video up here on the channel. It talks about um, the cookbooks and everything that's in them. Um, but also um, talks about how it's going to take about two to three weeks for the publisher to print all of these books. And they're in Canada. Then they have to ship them down to me. So I will. you won't be receiving your book until December, the beginning of December. Um, and so then I'll ship it to you. I will ship your books to you as soon as I get them. Trust me, I plan on signing and writing special messages to all of you that are such a big part of this channel and you guys are constantly on the lives, supporting me, encouraging me, and you're just here every Tuesday night. I love that. I feel like I know you guys personally and I will for sure be writing something special in your book for you before I mail it out. So anyway, that's that. I'll put my link to my email down below. If you guys have any other questions on the cookbook, there is a video. It's about three minutes. It's up here on the channel. It covers everything that's inside the cookbook, just in case you think you might be interested. They're only $25, you guys. Totally affordable. Um, so anyway, keep that in mind. Um, so pretty and so yummy. Video was not stressful for us. Just fun. I'm so glad. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to let you go. And um, we got to go get our goats and the sun's going down. So you guys have a great night. I'll see you guys in the next video.